What? Oi, idiot. Get your ass out of that chair. It's time for the Ames part two episode. That's today? <sighs> And now it's time for another episode of Outer Space Reviews. Whoa! What's up everyone, it's your boy Chris. <laughs> We're back with another Ames review. So it has been two years since we did the previous one. We are joined by Lost Kiwi Designs. She's back to help us. How are we doing? How are we doing? I am fantastic, thank you. So thank you for helping us with today's episode. In the previous episode, I reviewed all of uh, the current Valkyrie and Vulcan items. But in this episode, I'll be doing the rest of Vulcan's items, while Los Kiwi Designs will be doing the rest of Valkyrie's items. Well, let's get into it. What have we got first? So let's see what we got. But, so here are all the items that we have reviewed and are going to review. So these are the items here that we reviewed last time, along with the AIM Shot Riser. And the items that you see right here are what we're gonna be reviewing today. We announced way back in 2020, I know, two years ago, mm. uh, back when the meme of Isamu can't open progress keys or anything. <laughs> exactly, that's it. Bandai came up with the idea of why don't we release a progress key that you can't open. Novel idea. Novel idea, <laughs> indeed. They also decided to release a progress key for Valkyrie for when she does her henshin. So, it has a fidget spinner on it. Whoa. Yeah. So, Ames Narakiri. Sector. <laughs> DX Ames Narakiri Prod Rise Key Set. What does it come with? Let's open it up. Oh, can I open things? I like to open things. Sure. Mm. We have two progress keys. But then we have an additional progress key. With that progress key, which she's pulling out, it's actually the phone that everyone gets. That's cool. This item here is a casing for it. Let's see. Beep. Oh, cute. It even has a little hole for the camera at the back. Noise shooting wolf, rushing cheetah, with the ring on the back. And you can put your finger through and you can spin it. Now with these items in the set, they actually did record some voice lines in it. So we'll quickly play a few of them. They were re-recorded as per the actor for Osamu stated on his YouTube channel that he had to re-record everything and scream very loudly. First item we got, of course, is the phone. Now it only has one button on this. You'd think it'd be the normal progress key button, but that one does not work. It's just here and you get some sounds when you push the button. So you do a light press for voice lines. <laughs> So you get voice lines for both Fua and Yua. It starts with Yua and then goes to Fua and then it'll just keep cycling around. But if you hold the button, you get um, the phone ringing and then when you answer it, you'll have Yua answers it first and apologizes and then And then Fuwa answers it on the second time. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now let's go with the rushing cheetah. Rushing cheetah. Boop, boop. So it has one button on the top. You can press that one. That was a pretty long voice line. It does come with a whole bunch of other voice lines as well. So let's check them out. Can you... I actually can't. So something interesting with this is I can't reach that button unless I like pull it over to my pinky. I, I actually cannot. Eh. There we go. It comes with a whole bunch of pre-transformation voice lines so you can press it and do like the spin, transform. It also comes with some other voice lines for when she's actually spinning it. 
and some joking lines as well. Spin! Spin! <laughs> Grabbed it upside down. It's difficult to time it to actually grab it when it's facing up. I keep getting it upside down. <laughs> up. Upside down! So you can open this up, but unfortunately because the ring is attached permanently to the back, you can't actually use it inside the shop riser. It's a shame, but it's a cool gimmick. It's really fun. And it's good for my cosplay. Now, we have the Shooting Wolf Progress Key, the unopenable. Now, why is it called the unopenable Progress Key? That's as far as it goes. Now, with the voice lines on this one, it just comes with his pre-transformation voice lines, mainly ones where he's just talking about how he'll defeat the human gears and trying to open up the Progress Key and whatnot. So we'll just quickly cycle through some of them. When you hold it on this one, it makes the trying to rip open sounds. Wow. <laughs> it's a really fun gimmick. Mm. Um, if you're really into doing cosplays and just getting really into your character, it's quite fun. Like, I like the idea and I like that they did do this and brought it out as part of this set. Because it, you can't really use them in the toys, they are pretty cheap. So, yeah. yeah. Cosplay item, very cheap. So the next item is... DX Rampage Gatling Prod Rise Key. Now, with this particular item in the show, in order to create it, they actually needed 10 other Prog Rise Keys. So here are the 10 right here. Is that enough time for you? Yep, all right, cool. ta -da. it is a big one. Also super shiny. Super shiny. So this one's just a little bit bigger than the Assault Wolf Key. Now to activate this one, instead of pushing at the top, you go like this. Now that you've transformed, you can also twist the dial. Power rampage. Rampage power. Blast. Power. Speed. Rampage. Then you can perform the final attack. And then you can also perform a fever attack.
So that's cool. You got it. It's your turn. Ooh, I get to open something. Wow. Ta-da. We have... Henshin Belt DX Raid Riser and Hunting Jackal Prod Rise Key. Wow. So this is a premium Bandai item. It used to be hard to get, but then the price dropped, so... For once, premium Bandai, they take all our money. So in this box, we get the Raid Riser, the Raid Riser Holder, Fighting Jackal, as well as the belt and attachments. If I press the button on the top once, it does the activation sound. And now if I hold down the button on the top, it will go into the voice line mode. And now... There we go. So I think that is pretty neat. That's quite a lot of voice lines put into this one little thing. Mm. But shall we... engine? We shall. Now let's press it again for the final attack. So you can also transform without the sound lines. What have we got next? Uh, DX Memorial Prod Rise Key Set Side Aims and Zaya. This one is a big, big hard one to get. Big and hard. Yeah. It comes with four Prod Rise Keys. Now the key feature with all these Prog Rise keys is that they all have sound recordings on them. You can change the mode to the regular DX version or the Henshin DX version. So right here we have the Japanese Wolf Zetsume Rise key. Now this was originally used by Kamen Rider Naki, but in one episode uh, Fuwa uses this to transform into Authorial Wolf. I can't actually pronounce this word. Author... When you push the activation button, it actually starts in the Zetsume Rise version. Now that's not what we want because that's for Kamen Rider Naki. You gotta hold it like you do when you're activating all these other sound items. There we go, heard the shot rise shot. That's what we want. So you gotta hold it a few times to go from regular Zetsume mode to Naki Zetsume mode, then to Aims mode, and then Fua aims mode. So you gotta hold it one more time. Now when we press it a few times. Japanese wolf pitching. You got Fua talking in it. Fua. Let's transform. Now you would have heard that that transformation sound went for much longer compared to a lot of the other ones. That is the key feature of all these memorial items. They have the full TV show transformation sound. We're sitting here in silence for a good 10 minutes. Yep. Now you can also do the final attack. If you don't hold the button at the top, um, it will just play some voice lines. Now we'll hold it and actually do a final attack. Japanese wolf! Ultras blast! Now we'll remove it and change over to the, and quickly do some of the sounds from the memorial edition. Now at this point, we'll quickly show off the Rushing Cheetah and Shooting Wolf Progerize Keys Memorial Editions. Woo! So here I got Rushing Cheetah. You know what it does. We've got the... Yeah! Cheetah's ability! But 
if we hold it, we go into the memorial mode. Let's transform. So you can also have some battle lines if you press the button on the top again. Are we ready for the final attack? Mm. So I hold up this button up here. That is super cool. So it's like as you see on the TV series. Is it just mirror attacks way bigger than some of the others? Yeah, I know, right? One thing I noticed um, is it won't say fever for the final part of the attack. Mm. I guess it just can't register it being on the belt. Yeah, it would be nice if it did say fever while on the belt, but I mean, you get I'm one. really, you really get one. happy with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but trust this one to pick up on the little details like that. I just really enjoy the sounds and noises. <laughs> okay. Now the next item is, of course, the Shooting Wolf DX Memorial Progress Key. Now remember to hold. And of course, there's voice lines. And it just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. It's time to transform then, shall we? Bwah! Sound everywhere. It's just like rrr, 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 rrr. it's like surround sound in these guns. Mm -hmm, it's really mm -hmm. good. Quality. You got sound at the back here, sound over here. It's crazy. Now when you do the light press. Now we'll hold it and do a finishing attack. <laughs> Noticed uh, the Valkyrie one's a bit longer. <laughs> yep, a lot longer. A lot it's like three times longer. <laughs> yep. It's time to move on to our final progress key set. From 01 Others, Kamen Rider Vulcan and Valkyrie. 01 Others, Vulcan and Valkyrie DX Dire Wolf Zetsu May Rise Key and Serval Tiger Zetsu May Rise Key version. That wow. is a mouthful. It is a mouthful. <laughs> now it comes with the Direwolf Zetsume Rise Key and Assault Grip. And on the other side comes with the... Serval Tiger. Comes with the Serval Tiger Zetsume Rise Key. So for this set, they're both Zetsume Rise Keys instead of regular keys. That's cool, they're transparent. They are because they are Zetsume Rise Keys. What does oh. that mean? They are... Blah. They're evil keys. Evil keys. Evil keys. <laughs> Now to get this set, you gotta buy the DVD or Blu-ray set for that movie. Now we'll start with Serval Tiger. It's really cool, I absolutely love the color on this. Mm. Now with this one, it does have 22 voice lines in one of the modes, but only 20 in the other mode. Mm. It has two modes on this one. So if I just press the top, we've got Serval Tiger. Tiger. Transformation sounds. Serval Tiger's ability. 
Now if I hold it down, we get one of the modes. And this mode only has 20 voice lines. And now holding it down. As you notice there's a few new lines in there. Okay, let's transform. So she has two voice lines after she's transformed in this one, so if we hold the button on the top. It just has the two voice lines after it's transformed in this one. Final attack. That's really loud. <laughs> it is, yes. Now it's my turn with the Dire Wolf Zetame Rise key. You don't need me anymore. Yeet. With the Dire Wolf Zetame Rise key, it comes with the assault grip. You can play with it without the um, assault grip, but it doesn't have the correct sound. So we're going to bypass doing all that and just get straight to attaching this. The most interesting part is I don't use the aim shot riser for this one. We use... What do we use? So we use... The Hiden Zero One Driver. Woo! Now, just like with the Servo Tiger Zetsume Rise key, it does have voice lines also. Grab our zero one belt. Now we authorize. So he's got a few voice lines. Now let's final attack. You can also do the DX version instead of the full movie version of the transformation. Nice. Cool, so yeah, that's pretty much every Ames item now covered. That's wow. pretty crazy, isn't it? It's yeah. a lot. Yeah, thank you guys for 
putting up with all of that. There is a <laughs> lot of sound files in all of these. So yeah, if you definitely like the Ames characters, uh, these items are definitely for you. Some can be hard to get, some are expensive to get. They're definitely worthwhile, especially for Zero One, because it was a really good series, especially since it's the first Rewa series, so they had to do something yeah, really different. About yeah, that. it was the first Rewa, yeah. Yeah, I remember when it first came out, and a lot of people were like, ooh, I don't like this, fluoros and cassettes and uh, everything. A female writer in episode two oh, or three. Oh, how dare they, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it really grew on you as you watch it. Mm, mm, if you haven't mm. seen it yet, I do recommend it. It is a really good story, actually. Yep, definitely, yeah. yeah. What would your favourite item be? What's your favourite? You know me, I love tactile playing with mm. things. So here, the novelty yes. of the spinning. Spin. That's great. And honestly, it would take me ages to perfect catching it the right way up. And the playability with that one is fantastic. I do really like the transparencies on the evil uh, progress keys, mm. but honestly, they all have their own unique sounds and things going on. So mm. really just having the whole collection, the ability to play with them all, yep. that is kind of worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Big thanks to Lost Kiwi Designs for thank you. assisting. It's and... no problem. Oh, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Remember to like and subscribe to Chris here's channel. <laughs> if you like this episode, give it a like because then we know this is the type of content that you guys like. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. Thank you once more to Lost Kiwi Designs. Hopefully, she'll be back in the future. Maybe. Yeah, nah. Nah, yeah. Nah, yeah? Okay, <laughs> sweet, sweet. <laughs> and um, hope to see you again in the next episode. Bye-bye-bye. <laughs>